Welcome to Uncle Deke's RC Adventures. He's ready to fly something all the time. Hey, Uncle Deke here. Another video about laminating. We've seen how to laminate, how to repair a plane by reheating it if it's been bent or broken. My thought was, can you laminate a plane that has been severely damaged and bring the creases back out of it? For instance, right here. This poor plane, the X-5, has been beat to heck. It was completely covered with some kind of tape and a lot of string tape, which is still real sticky. Okay, it took me about an hour just to take all the old tape off of it, and here is kind of what that trash can is pretty much full of what came off this plane. Okay, let's go ahead and get after it. I've got one piece of laminating film cut to go over the whole thing to start with. Okay, and we better find our. There it is. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I've had a video on how to do this before, but remember, this is how you. Sh sharpen your exacto knife. I've been pretty hard on this knife this morning and I've got a piece of sandpaper here. I'll just go over it a couple of times like that to freshen it up. Now we've got a nice sharp exacto knife. I used the blade that was in here before for about three years. I finally replaced it with another bad one. I've got a whole bag full of bad ones when I thought you had to replace them every time they got dull. So I got a new one out, put the old ones in a bag thinking someday I might do something with them. So let's take this and square it up. Just a little overlap there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a happy medium here. And I'm going to start right here. And this will stick it down. Of course this is EPO again. Laminating doesn't work on all kinds of, of foam. The first dent came right out. My theory is that you can laminate a, a plane that hasn't been laminated to repair it. And I think it's going to prove me right. And bring it on around. I'm going to take this tacket right here. Isn't sticking down. Again, pull on it as you stretch it, as you go across. Just remember that puppy's hot. And you don't need to do a finish iron on it. Just try to get it as smooth as you can. I 
It does shrink. Well, there's a relief place for the camera in here. This thing was chewed up pretty good. Now let's see what it does with the Look at it here. Especially right in here. More than one case it hit something head on going probably a hundred mile an hour. One time a tree like head on the breed the debris field was like amazing okay crease is all gone there it is taking out all of those creases here right in here The crease right there. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, this will, uh, let me go ahead and get it pretty well finished and we'll come back and revisit this and see what you think. It's going to be quite a bit different. So we will resume when hey, it's pretty near finished. This little project took about four hours or so. But I laminated every square centimeter of this thing and you can see where the wrinkles were before every one of them are gone whatever you see here is in the film laminating film I put several layers on the nose and right in here and on here because that takes the beating there were some cracks that popped back out this thing has had a hard life and all I did was take the tape off of it and laminate it. Okay, and I'll turn it back over. Now the lid was really deformed. It was, it was curved in here. So I pushed out on it and we laminated as I held it out. And that kind of helped pop it back out. Now put a little piece of film over here because we're going to test fly it. I'll probably put a camera back in here, but just to give it a little bit more aerodynamic stability. Put a little collars on the wingtips and some on the bottom. I <clears throat> use some heavy duty clear tape for hinge. I put the same things back in. I put a little bit bigger motor. This is a Tiger motor. I mean a Cobra motor, excuse me. But now it is really tough. The, this thing has been tough though because there's no spars in it. It's all one piece of foam. Um, so, you can see here where it was all wrinkled up before. Pulled it back out. So not only can you fix one that has been laminated, you can laminate one to fix it. You think I'm... Uh, enthusiastic about lamination you're right now works on only works in a couple different kinds of foams EPP and EPO I think stand to be corrected but I think that's right so here we go oh. there you go can be fixed can be fixed by lamination 
And this was really in here a lot too, so it really helped bring it back out. Well, also got Lana involved in this. She did about half of it, teaching her how to do it. Took to it, no problem. Wasn't hard, was it? No, it wasn't. Pretty amazing, though, isn't it? Okay. Yes. Uncle Deke out. Tell me what you think.